Clashes have sparked at a Jerusalem mosque today, amid reports Israeli security forces have used stun grenades to disperse crowds gathered at the religious site. Large numbers of Palestinians had gathered at the Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem today. However, the scene turned violent when security forces appeared to fire stun grenades into the crowd. A video circulating on social media showed a large mass of people instantly run as security forces moved to break up the gathering. Israeli police spokesman Mick Rosenfield claimed some Palestinians began to throw stones at officers and had begun to riot. Israeli forces were then sent in to suppress the violence, he claimed. There have also been unconfirmed reports of injuries today, as tensions in the country remain high. It is thought the crowds had gathered at the mosque to celebrate the ceasefire at the religious site. The mosque is located in the eastern part of Jerusalem in the West Bank. It is also one of the most sensitive sites in the Middle East and had seen clashes at the beginning of the month. The clashes come after Israel and Hamas had agreed to a ceasefire to the violence, which has been some of the worst seen in the region in recent memory. Israel had bombarded Gaza while Hamas, the pro-Palestine group, had also fired rockets towards Israeli towns. The ceasefire, negotiated in part by Egypt, is set to last for 11 days from Friday. Following the agreement, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said Hamas's operation had been severely hindered. He said, Hamas can't hide anymore. That's a great achievement for Israel. We eliminated an important part of Hamas's and Islamic Jihad's command echelon. And whoever was not killed knows today that our long arm can reach him anywhere, above ground or underground. Israel-Palestine ceasefire. Netanyahu more powerful says expert. Violence erupted on May 10 as Palestinians clashed with police amid fears of tighter curbs of their rights in Jerusalem. U.S. President Joe Biden supported the ceasefire in an address at the White House. He said, The United States fully supports Israel's right to defend itself against indiscriminate rocket attacks by Hamas and other Gaza-based terrorist groups that have taken the lives of innocent civilians. These hostilities have resulted in tragic deaths of so many civilians, including children, and I send my sincere condolences to all the families, Israeli and Palestinian, who have lost loved ones.